This man said hi. <laughs> we are live now. Hi. Let's go. Hola. Hola, everyone. How y'all doing, man? Welcome to another Dead in Hip Hop. Uh, what, what are these? These are lives. lives. <laughs> these are lives. It is a live. It is a live. Nah, welcome to another Dead in Hip Hop Live, man. We do this every other Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am your host, Rod, a.k.a. Modest Media, here with my brethren with Minus Mike C-Town. To my right, got the BZ430. What's up? What's up? What's going on, everybody? You know what I'm saying? To his right, look who's in the building. <laughs> Yours <laughs> truly. B4247. You know what I'm saying? Now that that 24-7 is questionable. <laughs> <laughs> not, not really. Because if you <laughs> live in the B365. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Don't hey. about it. It's 24-7 for real. Yeah, huh? Exactly. Why you know what I'm saying? Every day, goddamn. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell Every day. DE365. Everywhere you listen to podcasts, <laughs> we, a review a day. Your boy is yeah. here. Maybe you don't see me, but you don't hear me. Yo, they started to call you a special guest, man. I know. I saw that. Thing, man. <laughs> Hey, look, he said, look, look Sunday, man. I can't control it. If yeah. I could, I would be here. I can't control it, dog. Yeah, man. They think you, know you, beefing. You, they think you beefing with the No, nah, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Oh, Dang, Dang that's funny. That is uh, funny. And last but not least, man, Kid of B is the uh, comments uh, extraordinaire. <laughs> <laughs> what up, y'all? <laughs> the super chat's extraordinaire. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, we are dead in hip hop. Mike C Town unfortunately couldn't be here, man. Yeah, he he's a little under the weather, so yeah, he'll be back soon. Um, but yeah, man, today we're here to talk about something we've never really done before, like live. Nah, we've never done this live. We did it once with his beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Uh, we uh reviewed his review, basically. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was almost like a reaction to that. Uh, so if you've never seen that, go back to the channel. Uh, was it on his channel or was it on our channel? I can't remember. It was on ours. It was on our mm -hmm. channel? Mm -hmm. I can't remember if he had went out of town and, he, and you know how sometimes he No, he, he just told his audience to go watch it, but okay. it was on our channel. Yeah, so if you've never seen that, we, we've done this before, but it just wasn't live. It was a produced show. Uh, but yeah, man, the homie Fantano, man, um, I think this was suggested by some, like, some people on social media is like, uh, have y'all seen his review or whatever? And we typically, <laughs> oh my bad, hey, hey, so, hey, somebody, somebody got to be Mike. Mike. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I don't know about everybody. Well, I, I'm pretty sure, like, we've been doing this for so long. We typically don't watch other people's reviews until after we review this. Mm -hmm. So, with that said, we literally just reviewed, uh, uh, Kanye's new album with Todd Dolla Sign. Uh, we just did that right before we went, came on live. So that'll be, I think, Friday, right? this friday yeah it'll be out this friday so make sure you come back and um see that 2 p.m okay oh you got a time all right that's what's up 2 p.m eastern standard time um bz430 would not be on that because if you're a fan of uh dead and hip-hop you know bz430 does not review kanye west anymore so you know you know but he will <laughs> react to this or whatever but yeah he don't he don't do it anymore i'm gonna go react to it you, you just reacted to like we're just trying to see what he was talking to about. Fantano, not it's just Fantano, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We're just trying um, to see what he was talking about. But we have not seen this. We don't know what happened or whatever. But apparently, I guess I know. I mean, I think it's at like a million views right now or something wow. like that. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. So shout out to Fantano, man. He's been on now for a long man. Yeah, he's know, still putting trying up to numbers. get his Shannon Sharp on, bro. Still putting up numbers, man. Shout out <laughs> to him, man, for real. Um, but yeah, man, we're gonna do that. Uh, but. Just in case you don't know, you've never been here before. Super Chats are highly encouraged on this show, so make sure you send those in now. We were on time, and we usually give you 20 minutes to get those in, so you have until 9.20 uh, Eastern Standard Time to get those uh, questions in. At that time, we will cut them off, uh, just so we can kind of get through the questions and everything. Could we try to, you know, um, or the questions and the statements, could we try to, you know, get to all of them? Um, so, yeah, make sure you send those in now if you want your voice to be heard on this show. If you got some comments about the video, as well if you got other stuff you want to ask us or just tell us or whatever a lot going on in hip-hop so yeah whatever y'all want to talk about on in the super chats man send those in now it's how it's greatly appreciated and it just helps us with the production of the show and to keep going anything else before we get into this video that you guys want to want to talk about before we before we press play on this anything else we already talked about d365 patreon.com if you're not a patron make sure you become a patron Patreon.com forward slash dead in hip hop. Come a patron there, man. We got a lot of good shit over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We uh, just mm -hmm. ranked Lil Wayne's discography. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, 
Uh, so that'll be going up uh, on the on on Patreon as mm-hmm. well. So yeah, man, uh, it's it's yeah, it's, yeah, we putting in work. We we y'all 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 definitely getting your money's worth mm-hmm. on Patreon yeah, and supporting yeah. us. So we appreciate and, it. and more to come. Yeah, 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 definitely. So that's what's up. Yeah, man, make sure you tune into that Patreon and subscribe. I think you could do you could you could subscribe without even paying right now just to kind of get a sneak peek of what we got going on over there so yeah man just just check it out go there and check it out the mitts tapes will be next month mm-hmm. so we oh, have to break those up it was way too many yeah 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 For, uh that was who asked that metal mm-hmm. 920 yeah oh yeah twitch mm-hmm Mm-hmm. And that was Isaiah, one of the production guys. Y'all should know him by now. So yeah. Um, but yeah, man, without further ado, man, like I said, we're gonna be watching this thing. So y'all can while we're doing that, y'all can send y'all super chats. Uh so yeah, we can get to those at uh at got the into nine twenty. Yeah, you got into nine twenty. So get into that. I want to say it's like a short, like kind of not a long video. So it's like seven minutes. We may stop it here and there. If it's some wild shit happening. We got to say something real quick. But other than that, we're going to watch it and react to it. So yeah, we watch this Fantano. <laughs> Look at this All dude. Right. He usually, when it's a bad album, he usually wears this shirt, right? The uh, red shirt, flannel shirt. So yeah, he does not look happy in this thumbnail. So <laughs> it is also funny too, because he got the green screen all fucked up on it. It's like, he, he's like, he don't even care what's happening right now. That's that is hilarious. All right, man. Let's uh let's get into what the homie had to say about uh the uh vultures one. This is completely unreviewable trash, and here's why. Question, what is even the purpose of a music review in the first place? I can say at least in terms of my own intent. Uh, that when I do a music review, I hope to achieve a couple of things. One, give the viewer pause and cause them to think about why it is they do or don't like the piece of music or art that I'm doing an overview of. Or two, excite people to give the music that I'm talking about a try. Those are the two things I want to do. Problem, Mm. neither of those goals are possible in any scenario that involves reviewing this album. Newsflash, since 2022, Kanye has made it his mission to go full-on anti-Semite, spouting insane conspiracy theories, talking about how he loves Hitler, and at some point, I think he realized how much he fucked up with all of that. So now he has to own this total dumpster fire he's created and boast about how people think he's anti-Semitic now, because yeah, they do. Even if he does does genuinely apologize and change his behavior past this point, his public image is forever altered by all of this. I mean, you platformed a booger-eating white supremacist and have guys uh, Mm. like this repping for you on a highway overpass. This is not a can of worms a guy like Kanye is capable of closing, not without help from someone who is willing to tell him no. But he spent this same period of time pushing away anybody who could possibly do that at this point. Especially his wife, who he has now replaced with somebody who he just like kind of parades around like she's a naked body with no personality, <laughs> opinion, or voice. This is an Something that on some so level far. I think he's weirdly <laughs> proud of, as on the very lyrics to this record, uh, he calls her just a reference, which is maybe one of the grossest and most dehumanizing things Kanye has said about a woman on any of his songs, and it, it's being directed at his wife. So this trajectory Kanye has been on as of late has left him with an interesting mix of fans. One, hateful psychos that actually agree with some of the stuff that he's been saying, and are actually in my Twitter mentions theorizing that I'm a Jew, and that's the reason I don't really like uh, his recent music. Two, anonymous nihilistic teenagers (laughs) that don't really think anything he says or does has any greater consequence in the world, and are most likely bored and lonely and will just defend Kanye because watching him unravel is more entertaining than most things, and I guess brings some kind of meaning to their other otherwise meaningless lives. And three, cultish weirdos who parasocially obsess over him and everything he does, and would basically follow him to the ends of the earth. Keep in mind, these individuals have always been in his fan base to some degree, but prior they were at least mixed in with genuine hip-hop heads. Now, these three types of people, and there is overlap between them in Kanye's fan okay. base, don't want to hear anything critical about him at all, ever. They've okay. openly rejected any good faith effort I've made to uh, make them a 
aware of Kanye's downward spiral into Nazi adjacent rhetoric and now imagery in the promotion of this Nazis record. Like the this point is, word. there's no hope mm. of having any level headed <laughs> conversation with somebody who is like deep Close into the, the Kanye fandom <laughs> at this point. People who literally think anything and everything he does is great and will write off any bit of dissent as just being uh, biased and unfair to him, as if he's Jesus Christ and Not can yet, do no wrong. So, yeah, there's no convincing them, which I will say is also the case for people who have left the Kanye reservation over the past several years, because there are a fair share Might of be. people who are validly pissed <laughs> off about everything Kanye has been saying and doing recently and feel like it's totally beyond the pale. And even if this record was somehow good, what am I supposed to do? Tell the Jews in my audience, oh, come on, man, he, he didn't mean it. It's not so bad. He's just a little crazy, that's all. Especially since he's not <laughs> doing anything <laughs> to gain forgiveness. He is very apparently not sorry for anything he's been saying or doing. And the apologies he has given aren't worth a lick of shit. Because he'll think nothing of saying Jesus Christ, Hitler, yay, sponsor that, not too long after. Now, there are some people who will say, Anthony, you're being unfair here. Uh, separate the art from the artist. Come on now. You can't separate this crap that. from the yeah. music because <laughs> it's in the music. Look at the lyrics. Mm. Read these words. Mm. They have meaning and they are saying things that are not good or normal. You would have to expect me to separate my brain from my skull if you think I'm just going to ignore it. I think this comment mm. here pretty much sums things up. Uh, we don't care as long as the album is good. His personality and what he says doesn't matter to me. I only care about the music. How do you penetrate this level of self-imposed ignorance? Right. This person is not listening to Kanye. He's not listening to anything I or anyone has to say about Kanye. And this comment was posted after the album was released, so he's apparently not even listening to the content of the music that he supposedly cares so much about. So this argument about, I only care about the music, can't possibly be true. Especially since the music too is shit. The song Paid is one of the most unintentionally Ooh. hilarious tracks I think Kanye has ever put out. <laughs> it's just a crappier stop, version of Fade. Stop, right? stop, stop it now. I refuse to listen. <laughs> To, to that <laughs> blasphemous statement about pay. Put it on Put it on Real quick. I, yeah, everybody needs to see this. <laughs> Paid is one of the best songs on there. <laughs> what is he talking about? The Jodeci sample that he did? You know, I might be giving y'all too much because we did our review and it would be out later this week. But what? Is, is he serious right now? Oh man, come on, <laughs> Fantano, man. I I thought it would be any at least the song with Northwest. Stop paid. Oh man, come on, get back to this, man. Tony he was cooking too. too. Yeah. <laughs> he was cooking, man. He was cooking until he got to that point. But that's the one he was like, what? Said that I think that's the that's one, the one? Man. I think that's the one where he, he was doing the crazy singing on that. Oh but, man. But the, but but the Jody sample was was a nice touch. But yeah. <laughs> All right, man. All right, man. Keep, keep All right, let's going. get back to it, bro. <laughs> Why wouldn't My you just listen to You have to be delusional to think anything else, especially with this trash-ass verse from Ye. And Ty Dolla Sign on it is just amazing, uh, saying that uh, he's just here to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's honest. Then back to me with that Jay and Silent Bob chorus has to be one of the dumbest <laughs> things I've heard on any Kanye album ever. I feel like I'm being punked. But nigga, beautiful, big titty bitches, don't, don't just fly into the sky you know at least freddie gibbs somehow <laughs> See, made he's just flow, mad because yeah, he can't say it either dude is as good as watch he is the a review. Rapper, he cannot say this watch track. our then review rat has maybe one of the most excruciatingly bad instrumentals on any kanye album ever the mix is a mess and god those repetitions of heard rat heard rat heard rat heard rat <laughs> i mean i guess it kind of drowns out all the other stuff about the track so <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a silver lining. But almost none of that matters because there is so little to praise with this record. And if Kanye's delusional fans are not hearing that this record is awful on its face as they just kind of listen to it by themselves, uh, nothing I'm going to say is going to convince them. But if you really want a general assessment... Go ahead. What you got to say? What happened? What happened? I'm listening. Oh, man. dang. He said, he said y'all are listening. <laughs> He's like, this is a reaction. Touche. <laughs> Touche, Sonny. Touche. Got on y'all. Touche. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, that's it.
investment of this thing. It sounds like a That's slightly awesome. more finished Donda 2. Somehow Jesus is King uh, had more songs on it that sounded more uh, cohesive, well put together, which is saying something because that was previously Kanye's shortest, messiest, most unhinged and crappy record yet. And somehow this surpassed it. And at least in my mind, really? has achieved the status uh, of being Kanye's so, worst album. And given that the sequel tends to be a step down from the original got to say uh, again. Kanye's case, wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> rest of the vulture. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> it's almost over, actually. Oh, fine, fine. We, it's, I, almost I, okay, yeah, it's, it's almost over. It's almost over. It's almost over. Go ahead. Let's go and finish it out. Series from this point is not looking good. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you. Bye. Oh, he didn't even rain. <laughs> Yo, he didn't even. <laughs> Yeah, because he normally does a little transition, <laughs> all that stuff, right? I don't know if he does the transition, though, but he usually at least gives it a right. <clears throat> Give it Yo, a right. that's crazy. Yeah, that, like, like, okay, so <laughs> he said it's his worst album today. I don't know if I agree with that. And I'm not so saying that. So what's the that. worst album? Shit, I mean, you, I, I don't know. He got a lot competing for that final spot. <laughs> he mm. got Jesus the King, mm. the Donda joints. Jesus. Uh, Jesus, Life is Pablo, 808. Life of Pablo is not down there, and neither is 808. Stop being so he, he got he got some joints, but I think that Jesus King, maybe Jesus, uh, maybe Jesus King, maybe Donda, maybe competed for that final spot because mm -hmm. I, I don't think there was anything that I liked at all, mm -hmm. uh, or mm -hmm. if there was, it may have been one thing on those other albums. At least this, there was, you know. Something on there. My thing was like, what is it actually? Uh, I know B can't really talk and speak on this because it's unreviewed. It's been he just here so he can't get. It, 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 it's unreviewable. It's been unreviewable for him for some time now. But is it actually unreviewable without trying to get too much away from our review? Like, what? What should like? I don't think it's unreviewable. Mm -hmm. I think that's definitely Fantano in his rant just jumping off the deep end. Mm -hmm. But you know, um, not to give too much away. I didn't really, you know what I'm saying, mess with this project like that. Um, Not to get too much away. <laughs> away. That's, that's giving everything away. I didn't like it like that, but I'm not giving them the reasons. You know what I'm saying? Watch the reviews. Not to give them too much away. You know, I got to give the people something. Shit, nigga, I haven't been here, bro. I got to give them, you know what I'm saying? You can tell, like, certain things you like and dislike. You ain't got to say that you just didn't nah, like it. Th no, th that's what they need to go to the review for. Yeah. Like, I'll just give you, you know, yeah. I didn't fuck with it like that. Go to the review and I'll give you the reasons why. But well, I mean, I I, I think outside Shout of out to Fantano, man, he just gave us fifty dollars. <laughs> the review is I mean, I, I think because you know he, <laughs> he, he spent a bulk of the time mm -hmm. like discussing like everything surrounding Kanye and mm -hmm. his you know mm -hmm. the Nazi stuff, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Yeah, and then it kind of on the tail end got into like. Mm -hmm. the album and the music itself. So I think maybe those other elements mm -hmm. were some of the things that he was saying is kind of where, where B is at. Like, why even give him the attention as he did a whole video? We kind of did something attention. similar on our Jesus is King. Y'all remember that? When we had to come back that they mm -hmm. was complaining about, like, y'all yeah. didn't review the music. Mm -hmm. And like, we, like, it was kind of like what he just did. It was like, to us, it was a little unreviewable, like because it's like, uh, I mean, it, we didn't really take it that serious. But then we came back with the break, the, the uh, track, the track breakdown, yeah. mm -hmm. or whatever. So yeah, I, I get it. Like, like I mean, especially man, if he doesn't, I commend him for it. It's, it's kind of like what B does, you know what I'm saying? It's not if you just don't like where he is, just in in life as a person, and like he said, because because I was thinking at one point, like you're not you're you're not separating it, but like he said though. He's putting it in the music. Boom. So I was yep. just like, okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. That's now, now, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. You're, you're merging the two together. Yeah. yeah. So we is is hard to separate. Or now mm -hmm. you're you're now we have to critique mm -hmm. these things that at what at, at one point was separate from the music. Mm -hmm. So you know, because he's doubling down and not yeah. apologizing for. Mm -hmm. The anti-Semitism, just, just, just hey, well, the hey, controversy. Hey, wait, hey, he, he started to apologize. He started to walk a lot of stuff back. That's not apologizing. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. That's when, not apologizing. Hey, he, but he did issue an apology though. Know? Mm -hmm. Where, when? I think he put, wrote it on Twitter, uh, Twitter or Instagram or something like that. You I can paraphrase. Pull it up. I can't you can paraphrase. paraphrase. But I'm just saying. He, I think what I'm saying is that he, when when them chats got low and that money got shot, 
he started to, he started to issue an apologies, and now I guess he's going back and you know fighting back in his own way. Hold on, I'm gonna find it, bro. I know he because we talked about it. All shout I out to Mike too. I see Mike C Town in the um in the shout uh, out chat. C-Town. Yeah, yes, he mm-hmm. apologized to the Jewish what community in an Instagram post written in Hebrew. I don't speak it. Uh-huh. But I know it's on the AP, APnews.com. Okay. So he apologized for his antics. This was December 26, 2023. Question. Okay. <laughs> hey, all I'm saying though, Ken, yeah. is you know, and you didn't want to answer directly on the review, you know. But I my, my question to everybody, mm-hmm. which was just me, uh, modest and Ken on this review, mm-hmm. was, you know, does it have replay value and was it good? Yeah. I got you. I got watch, you. Watch, 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 watch the review because y'all niggas sounded like Kanye, man. Just going around. Y'all niggas ain't want to answer nothing direct. Who? Nah, nah. No, please. no, no, no. I mean, you're, you're, that's a whole different thing. What I guess mm-hmm. the thing is, <laughs> like, you know, I, I I think it think times got rough for him. And I don't know why he issued the apology, but whatever mm-hmm. he did, he wrote it. Now, he may have started to backtrack on some of that, uh, you know, with, with things said in the, in the music. But, you know, he, he tried to be a better person. This just who he is. Maybe the bipolarism kicked in. He just switched back to the other person. Mm. Yeah. Hold on. Let me hit, uh, let me hit Mike real quick. See, he, he got a lot to say. Hold on one second. Let me see if what he, was he saying? I'm going to see if he, let me, let me see if he pick up. What do you have to, what do you have to say? I see him in the chat. He talking. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. He was talking about you. Why, why she be in the clubs when he ain't going to pick up? Ah! Like see, he, see, he, he was, he was see, talking he about you. He, he, he's, he's sneaky. He's sneaky. See, he and uh, we see you in the chat, but he in the club, though. That's what it is. He, he ain't trying to pick club, up. This <laughs> <laughs> man sent me the voicemail. You ain't shit, man. <laughs> he probably can't talk or some shit, though. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, man. But, um, uh, Nah, nah, that's that, that was interesting. No, he he said that. So yeah, it actually wasn't a review, but he wore the the uh, red flannel. So that's what threw me off or mm-hmm. whatever. But it actually said that it wasn't a review. So got it. But I feel Fantano for the most part. Mm-hmm. You know, um, <laughs> it, it, it's it's not that great of an album. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think you know what he talked about, like. Kanye's fan base, you know, once upon a time it had more hip hop heads in it. Mm-hmm. And you got these crazy fans that's in there now. And I don't know, man. Like I don't I don't know what the streets are saying about this project. You know what I'm saying? I, I I've heard a couple people reached out to me, you know, mm-hmm. that I fuck with their musical opinion. And they was yeah. like, nah, this is trash. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Got you. Nah, that's what's up, man. Look, man, we'll be dropping that review this Friday. And Sonny said at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So yeah, y'all make sure y'all tune in to see what we had to say about this Jay album, man. Um, uh, so yeah, that's it. But um, yeah, thank you guys for sending in your super chats. Um, like I said, that was something that we tried new, man. You know, hope you guys enjoyed that. We might try to some stuff like that again. You know, try to do some stuff live. But uh, yeah, shout out to Fantano too, man. I saw him drop drop some money in there. Thank you, brother, for that. Um, and always a supporter of you and what you do. Um, but yeah, at this point of the show, this is where I turn it over to Ken to get into your super chats. All right, right, all right, all right, all right, all right, right, right. Again, uh, let's go. Samuel <laughs> Presanto. Uh, Kanye fans are more mad at Fantano than Kanye for what he said about Jews, George Floyd, slavery, platform, white supremacy, etc. What a time. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, that's fans can be, uh, you know. That's how they. That's that's why they call them fanatics. But I call them fans. <laughs> they kind of wild at that. So it's it's clear as day they don't care about any of that stuff. So you know, mm-hmm. you know, so they're able to look past it. Um, Samuel Crisanto again. This all could have been avoided. If we listened to Ken when 808 and Heartbreaks came out. <laughs> we all apologize, Ken. Where's Electric Circus too? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, 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 this is what I'm here for. This is what I'm here right. for. You know, I'm, you know, kid, loving that comment. Right there, boy. Appreciate you, brother, man. Uh, Levi Turner, I like the album, but this discourse and Ye himself is cringe. It's not edgy. It's very lame. Artistically, he's getting worth worse. It's not worth excusing Ye. Got you. Uh, Levi Turner again. I think since art is the only thing Ye fans can defend, 
They've developed this baby mentality of needing everyone to agree and validate their own opinions to coddle their insecurities. Mm. Not worth it. All right. Mm. Jeez. Uh, Rob, top of the evening, everyone. Kanye dropped something. Man, anyways, y'all should all check out that Bruiser Wolf album. I actually yes. listen to it. Yes. Mm. I agree, Rob. It, it, it'll definitely be on DE 365. Me and Ken is going to review mm -hmm. that joint. That's what's up. It's on the docket. <laughs> Rob again. Uh, glad to spend Valentine's Day with my fave babes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it is Valentine's Like, damn, it is Valentine's Day. Like a mm -hmm. month. <laughs> <laughs> uh blah part no i fucking lose it every time ken says big moochie great say it ken <laughs> big moochie great <laughs> there go. Hey, he need to use that shit like a tagline for real yeah, man hey, hey just cut me some <laughs> cut the check biggest grammy snub hold on hold on, hold on hold on hold on what's up hey man i'm trying to get through the super chats i did not see it i did not see it but i haven't yeah i moved on uh <laughs> biggest grammy snub drake and justin bieber losing the best new artist award to esperanza spalding 15 years later where is she now man esperanza was oh, man, esperanza was yeah there. she's a jazz she's a jazz oh bass player God, yeah bro. Mm. you know she's dope as so hell. what what happened we don't know that's why he asked he's like where the hell is she 15 years later but <laughs> that album was good you 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 we talked about her before, right? I believe so. Yeah, yeah I yeah, think yeah, so, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 she was good. Just for the record, people saying I, I know I said I forgot. I just forgot at this point in time. I celebrated Valentine's earlier today, so yeah, that's why. As the day went on, I just it forgot. Did, yeah, yeah, just, just went. Yeah, yeah, just forgot. Uh, <laughs> on Kanye B, how come B don't be in any Ye reviews? I'm confused. So it's probably a newcomer. You want to go ahead and, and newcomer, let him know? Because I choose not to be. No. Come mm. <laughs> no, he knows that. He needs to give him contents, man. Mm -hmm. but, I don't care to talk about Kanye, so. No, like. <laughs> what happened? What What was the project? It was like, you know what? I'm done. Which project was that? Do you remember? Which one? What was that, it specifically he did? That was right after Life at the Problem. Whichever the one that was right after Life at the Problem, that was. You just threw your hands up. Yeah. He was like, nah. But I thought he did yeah, something like. On TMZ, when he was saying the slavery. There we go. And all that Thank stuff. you. Yeah. Oh, okay, Thank you, okay. all that stuff. When he was, he, that's, that's when he really started being on that bullshit. And I was like, yeah, I'm done. Mm -hmm. All right, there we yeah, go. Thank you. That's what we're trying to get. So that's why. Yay. <laughs> uh, Killer Yay. Mike okay. sweeping the Grammys is just like awarding a tree falling and no one else, no one's there to hear it. Drake and 21 Metro and Travis got robbed. Mm. What? Mm. Did you listen to the Mike album, nigga? Mm. You spent money to say that? What's that dude, Kai Kai Sinai? Kai Sinai. Kai Sinai. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, he was going off about it. And I think uh Killer Mike actually responded mm -hmm. on a he show responded. Yeah, to it. Yep. Yeah. So did Aiden Ross. Aiden Ross also has something mm -hmm. to say in. Who the hell is Aiden Ross? He, he, you never seen Aiden Ross's streams? Yeah. Yeah, he, like he I would say he's as big, if not bigger, than mm -hmm. Kai. But either way, they both felt the type of way about Killer Mike winning. And Killer Mike responded to both of them. And all I got to say to the youngest that did not listen to the Killer Mike album, listen to the Killer Mike album. Just don't be so quick to say that other people got robbed. Like Killer Mike's album. Yeah, they probably didn't even listen yeah, to it. Yeah, they didn't listen to it. Yeah. I don't know why they did that. Um, is Mike on the Vultures review? No. No. Yeah. He is not here today, and we reviewed that today. Yep. Yeah. Appreciate it. It's a super sticker. Uh, what to do, Dead and Crew? Can't stay the whole lot. Just wanted to make some form of donation and pop in. Much love and due respect. Appreciate, Appreciate that. Uh, y'all heard the new SG Stove Got Cooked single? Yes, yes. 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 Sent it to I me. just sent it to them. To them yes, too. man. Bro. We need that Stove Got Cooked need that album. Stove got album. Stop playing. I know. <laughs> he needs to just stop it's playing. It's been four years now. Reason we're talking about 2020. Who does dude think he is? Bruh, come on. <laughs> Who does he think he is? is? <laughs> but you know, but 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 I think I think from West High's <laughs> perspective, this is perfect marketing for this guy. He's he's been featured on a lot. I know. Yeah, like, we so can hear him. Exactly. Lot, so we've yeah. been so, hearing him. It's yeah. not like he we haven't heard yeah. him. Exactly. It's not like yeah. it's been a drought for Stove God. Right. It's just we haven't gotten a project, which again, I think it's amazing marketing. Marketing. Mm. Amazing marketing. I heard it. I heard it too. Uh that my, was on purpose. The check-in report. Mm -hmm. My question to Fantano is when Kanye says slavery was a choice, that didn't stop you from reviewing the next three projects he made, but you draw the line at anti-Semitism. Mm -hmm. I guess black pain is tolerable for him, not surprising. Oh. <laughs> darts. oh man. Everybody has their breaking point, right? They he do. had his breaking point. 
Fantano's obviously had his breaking point. We don't know what he's going to do going forward, if he's going to mm-hmm. review his stuff going forward. But, you know, this obviously what his breaking point. I don't want to get into, like, it's just, I don't know. I don't want to get into and, that. And, and maybe it was just mm-hmm. like he just kept going. He just kept adding and yeah. adding yeah. and adding. It was just mm-hmm. like, bro, you know, right. you went at the blacks, and now you're coming at the Jews. It's like, Jesus, mm-hmm. who who's next? Me? Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, me and my people? So, right. You know, so... um but yeah, so I yeah, so but I I I I understand the mm-hmm. the position and framing of that question, but you know, um uh pea pickle. Hmm. One gotta stay porn edition. Let's steal Wesley Pipes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's wild, bro. That is. I the day the females. He think the I, 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 I have no uh, answer for this. Y'all are yeah, wild as hell, yeah. bro. What is wrong? I don't with remember y'all? the guys' names. I just know the women. <laughs> I just know the women names. That's it. I, I only know like, like two of them. I'm not gonna front list. like I don't know the guys' names. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, the guys. I, just, I don't know. Oh yeah, I got you. I, I got you. Yeah, know really this talking about me. I'm not gonna front like I don't know the guys' names. But I'm not. I'm no, bro. I can't. I'm not answering that. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I know three out of four. Nah, I'm just saying I know three out of the four. <laughs> That's wild as hell, man. Y'all are wild, bro. I swear. <laughs> uh, yeah. Super sticker, appreciate it. Um, Teach Beezy, I wanted to know your thoughts on the Oh No and Elzai project mm. at Vibrato. I saw it was your number one for 2023, but didn't get to hear why. Oh, I mean, because I feel like Oh No's production, he definitely, he definitely. I feel like he got Elza definitely out of a comfort zone that I think mm-hmm. Elza's been used to in the last few albums on the production side. Not saying production from Georgia and Madro was whack or uh, J.R. Swift's, no, none of them. Quite Crisis, none of them. I'm just saying, I feel like, oh no, definitely tapped into something with Elza on this project and Elza was being the you know the best that he is anyway. So, but yeah, yeah, I, I fucking love it. I still play that album today. So, yeah, yeah, no, great, great album. Me and Ken did this one on D365 as mm-hmm. well. So, Go listen to the to, to our review, mm-hmm. how me and Ken feel. Everything B said, I think, is exactly Man. what I said on the damn review, Man. bro. And, and and you know, no disrespect to Elzai, but I felt like, oh no, what he did, bro. I'm like, bro, this is not something that if I heard these beats, I'll say, yo, I'm gonna put Elzai yeah. on. Like you know, at all. Oh no, it's Matt Matt Liz, brother. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Mm. Dope. Okay. Yeah. All uh, right. Um, any features you're looking forward to on Q's new album in a couple of weeks? Any features? Honestly, man, I don't even care. Yeah. Like, like I, I don't I care don't if know. he doesn't have a feature. Uh, what? I'm just saying, like, I do. It depends on the features I see on there. Like, if I oh. see some shit, like, uh, sorry, fans who's listening, like a Playboy Cardi, or mm-hmm. I don't think he's gonna go that like, route. That's anymore. what I'm saying. Like, if I see some features like that, I'm gonna be worried. Well, I, that's you said. Who is any features you're looking forward to, right? So, I mean, just the J Rock, yeah. I would, you know, I would, yeah, I would hope yeah. it'd be some of the TDE fam. Like, you know, mm-hmm. it'd be dope to see Isaiah Rashad on there. Mm-hmm. You know, um, maybe him and SZA got a joint on there. You think Kinda you might get a TD? You think you might get a Kendrick feature? I don't know. Probably. I mean, they could. It's not like Kendrick not I cool. Know this, I yeah. understand. I'm just saying. That would be dope. That would be that dope. Would be dope yeah, hell. I think that would be dope. What's up, what's up Sonny? Ooh. I'm here for that. <laughs> okay. Here for that. Nah, but but what I'm saying is the uh, it, in general, though, is like, I, I don't care if he has them or not. I think he could carry album by himself. Yeah. And, and I think it'll be I kind of hope he don't have a lot of features yeah, on there. Yeah. Actually, not a lot. You yeah. Know, maybe one or two or something. I'd and if he does, make make them like, you know, hard hidden features. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. All right. Uh, Black Roz. Uh, I think Benny needs an executive producer to help him put together the direction he wants to go in. Mm. If you agree, who should it be? Not according to FIFA. Yeah, no, I mean, stick, stick, like stick, <laughs> stick, I, 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 <laughs> stick to the dude. I feel like they know him the most. Westside. I feel like that's Westside what, is always that's what good. I said in the Westside review. Westside is always good at like, creating albums. Yeah, but you but know? Benny is obviously trying to go for more of a commercial right. sound. I don't know if Westside is that guy. You know what I'm saying? But um, I I, I like his two attempts at the more commercial sound. I don't mm. I don't think it was like all the way missed. Um, I do like Burden of Proof more than I like this one. But um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's like a swing and a miss. I feel like it's a base hit. It wasn't a home run, but he got on base with it. I, and I, and I think that was my sentiments. And, and and my sentiments in the review was that you know, 
do what you you know if that's what you want to do do it mm-hmm. I, I don't i don't because i've seen his inter- interviews mm-hmm. and things he said he don't want to be boxed in and he want to mm-hmm. venture out to different things and i like i said in the review i respect that mm-hmm. i just particularly don't like that bag and, mm-hmm. and i've said that plenty of times here on this show that that's just not the benny bag i like mm-hmm. you know um he gave us a, you know little sprinkles of it mm-hmm. but it just wasn't enough for me to feel like full you know what i mean now i feel i i, I under i get it like trust me i get it mm-hmm. but um you know who who should curate it? Mm, I don't know because it, it, if we're talking the the gritty Griselda shit that we love Benny on, then one hundred percent it should be West Side. Mm-hmm. But if we're talking about him venturing off and doing more, you know, commercial type shit, mm-hmm. I don't know who that person is. Gotcha. To be quite honest with you, they said Jay Z is able to produce. What you think? Cause he is like he produced Lupe's food and liquor. He I did, believe, didn't he? Yeah, that was he a long did. time ago, though. That yeah, was a long time. <laughs> um, I, I don't, I don't know if Jay's the person I would tap on the shoulder. But for like that. what, what, um, my, what, what Kim was saying is that he felt like that's the route he was trying to go. He was trying to, trying to create that, that, that Jay Z commercial appeal magic, and just didn't quite do it. But, but, but you know what though? Like, I think part of what made Jay's commercial run as great as it was was that he tapped into artists and got features Mm -hmm. and producers so you know some of Jay's biggest songs were produced by Timberland Mm -hmm. now I'm not saying Benny should go get Timberland and do a whole joint with him but you know think about when he when when Jay-Z had uh um Bum B and Pimp C you know on on Big Pimpin Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying like yeah they they were big underground wise but they weren't big to the mainstream Mm -hmm. and he put them on a mainstream platform and and that combination of tim's big production jay-z being who he is and those two guys being where they were pushed it over the top Mm -hmm. so i'm not saying that that's the the correct formula for benny Mm -hmm. but i'm just saying like review the history see what you can try to recreate in Mm -hmm. that and move forward yeah man might be dj khaled Hell no. Okay, man. Let's let's let's. Uh, Mark Mark Bird. <laughs> Mark Bird season is upon us. Excited for a new project from the goat. Oh, Mars Bercy. Oh, mm. Rock Rock Marciano. Yes, oh, shit. sir. Man, I'm always ready for a Hell new rock yeah. project, bro. For real. Uh, would you get rid of your favorite artist forever if you were given one million dollars and a chance to meet meet the artist you last listened to? Hmm. So it must be like regardless of what you listen to last. Uh, but one million dollars in my favorite artist is gone. I think I got the I think I'll take the meal. But yeah, me too. Yeah, I think I'll take the meal. Yeah, give me the meal. Because mm-hmm. there's so many other artists that I fuck with mm-hmm. that you know I could replace. Yeah, it's just one artist. Yeah, just one artist. Who your favorite, Marvin Gaye? Mm-hmm. You so, taking that like Marvin Gaye? Mm-hmm. Go ahead and take that meal, Ken. I mean, you know, you got other soulful brothers, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah. <laughs> you still got Stevie. You still got... Be- Beasy, Clef- bring back the instrumental project reviews. Mm. I'm over reviews. I feel that. That was on your channel, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you still do stuff on your channel? Nah, I'm thinking about trying to find right away to, to redo it, but I'm definitely not reviewing stuff no more. Mm-hmm. I'm over doing reviews. Yeah. Me personally. Uh, sorry for trolling you guys with my songs. Uh, I, I don't know what songs you're talking about. Um, <laughs> favorite Jordan retro shoe of all time. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. It, it has to be the Cement Force for me. It's probably my favorite of all time it's not my favorite to i won't say to wear but i just like the way that cement three look uh four looks mm. the silhouette because four isn't even my favorite anymore you already know mm-hmm. i like ones because mm-hmm. they just look good with fits mm-hmm. but um but just as a silhouette of a shoe that cement four is, is real class mm. really classic to me personally for me gotta be the bread six for a couple of reasons number one it was the first <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, it was the shoe that he wore when he won his first championship. Mm-hmm. Um, also, it was the first Jordan that I got when mm-hmm. I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's also molded after his Ferrari. So, you know, I'm big with whips. So mm-hmm. for those three reasons, I think that that is uh, my favorite retro shoe. Now, I think the most iconic is the 11 Concord. Oh, yeah. That's obviously the, that's most, the most iconic. iconic. That's my... <laughs> 
Niggas, I know it is. Niggas died over job. that. Yeah, yeah. Niggas yeah. died over that shit. Yeah, they did. It's cold it crazy, did. bro. I remember yeah. as a 11, kid. That's my favorite. As a kid, yeah. when that shit came out, I wasn't feeling yeah. it until I saw it in person. I said, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> 11s, and I think, but, what, what's the but what's you, the fours? Uh, either the three or the fours. So, it was uh, the two Jordans I really like. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's the 11s, and they, I think it was either the three or the fours. No, probably fours. Maybe the fours. But do you think the 11s are more iconic than the than the uh the Chicago ones? Um, I would say those are probably the two most iconic. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. and you know, I I think the the patent elevens was just mm -hmm. nobody ever used leather like that, like that mm -hmm. patent leather on a on a sneaker before. Right. So I think that that kind of broke the mold. But then obviously the Jordan one, uh, with all of the red in that shoe, obviously broke the mold in the NBA as well. Mm -hmm. So I think you know you could go either way. You yeah. could go either way with the bread ones or the Chicago. Mm -hmm. Um, in the Concord 11s, you a combination of those three, you know, you put them one, two, three, however you see fit. You saw Usher had some fours, some custom fours, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. chrome or something like yeah. Jay, I think Justin Timberlake did the threes one year. Oh, I don't know, yeah, remember. yeah, he did the threes, he had his own custom three mm -hmm. made on doing Super Bowl, I think. Yeah, um, better 04 album, Confessions or College Dropout? Ooh, Ooh that's, that's a weird. Tough. That's weird. That's it's tough, weird, though. but that's yeah, a good question, though. Yeah. They're both really good albums. Um, confessions or College Dropout. Wow. I'm going to go Confessions. I think I'm going to go Confessions, too. Confessions. That's an that's a, that's a iconic yeah. Usher album. Yeah. That shit, that's his last good album he made. Yeah, that's an yeah. iconic Usher album. <laughs> if we're being honest. I, mean, I think it's his best album. Oh, 100%. I mean, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah and that's his last great album that he released. And see, that, and that's not Kanye's best album. 100 percent so yeah 100 yeah, percent. Yeah. let me let me so during dead end sports we we kind of had a little tiff and i thought ken was a little crazy mm -hmm. how many classic <clears throat> usher albums do you think he has i think usher first runs were i i don't i haven't thought about it enough uh -huh. but i think Probably usher has way, a style 87 yeah, one those in, were, in confessions yeah. that, that three album run right 100 yeah, yeah. he has three classic albums mm -hmm. ken was like hell no nah, hell no nah. what's he the don't other have three? Ones? What do he got? Confessions is, is the only is one for you there, but what? The oh, you don't two. think he got three? No, he doesn't think he had. Yeah, three. Oh, he okay, three okay. Total. I mean, he had more than three. I'm gonna say, no, 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 no. He uh, didn't think he I'm had. Dumb. No, my way. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm seven iffy the on clock on it like that. No, yeah. no, I'm yeah, but I'm iffy on eighty-seven on one. Yeah, you true. That's when hey, you don't have to. Yeah, yeah that's you, the, don't have to, oh, you don't have classic to. Classic yeah. album, y'all yes. have one single, bro. No, no, on, the album. Like, yeah, you go back to the yeah. album. I, I, I listened listen to the album. album. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 he was on a three album run, confession. like with those with those three yeah. albums right there. No. You remind me. Yeah, you yeah, remind bro. Me. <laughs> he got like two, maybe three songs. You got yeah. it back. You got it. You got it, bro. I need to go to the you need to listen to the bro. No, I was like, no, 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 no. 8701 is the I mean, one. That's what I'm talking about. That's a class. Yeah. <laughs> you got like two. No, it's not. Bruh, it's more it's than not two. A, it's not, it's, I, no, it's not a class. I think y'all just you <laughs> heard that somewhere. Nah. Uh, do you guys think Ye was just too horny on this album? <laughs> <laughs> was he too horny on the album? I don't know. If, I don't know. I didn't get the, that sense on this. Yeah. I mean, I know he talked about his wife a little bit. His new wife, um, but he's always talking about something. Yeah, something he always. Shit. So, what is the song? Did we talk about fuck song more? Did we? Did we? We did. Yeah, I yeah, said yeah, that was yeah, one of my yeah, favorite songs. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think I don't know, man. I just don't think he's inspired rap wise. I think he's still, in, like I said, without getting too much into the review, I think he's definitely still inspired to make music. Music, but he's not but creative. Just not, just not like the rap. Like he, I don't, know, man. I don't know. Watch the review this Friday, two yeah. p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, can you old? That's facts. Can you owe? What? What did he say? Yeah, I'm old. Can you uh, owe? That's mm -hmm. what he said. Mm -hmm. He actually ain't that old. Uh, after the new Benny, is it safe to say Grise he is Griselda's weak link? Including Rome, Esty, Boldy says more about how strong their roster is than a Benny disc. Nah, I wouldn't say nah, that. that. Because, I mean, he was still rapping his ass off on his mm -hmm. album. Don't get it twisted. This motherfucker was rapping. And the fact that he's able to come out of that 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 um that flow um mm -hmm. that he did for the Tanner talks and stuff like and still be able to do it it was for me it was more so the beat selection like it just didn't sound like 
traditional alchemists and it didn't sound like top tier it, it almost sounded like a Nas situation where he just didn't pick the right beats mm -hmm. or something man I, I, I don't know they like you had alchemists and hit boy at your your um disposal disposal and and um and like it's like you pick like some of the worst beats to me damn I I wouldn't go that far, but yeah. um, you think you know they got better beats than oh, that. Oh, I'm not disagreeing. Oh, okay. I'm not disagreeing. Yeah. Um, but to answer the question directly, I don't think Benny is the weak link in Griselda. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm I'm including you know drum work and everybody that mm -hmm. that you know BSF all of them niggas like nah I, I don't I don't think that he's the weak link at all. I honestly I don't think they have a weak link. All them niggas can rap. They all dope. They all dope. And I honestly don't think any of them can do what Benny's doing right now like as far as like crossover appeal i don't mm -hmm. know if they can do it as well as him i think bank has the most crossover appeal yeah i think he probably has the most out of all of them mm -hmm. yeah uh lima turner there's a new james blake and lil yachty collab album coming soon say what who <laughs> 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 why on the lookout also b have you recognized james blake as a producer he's incredible mm. no i haven't Hmm. Wait, is he is he is he that no, good? Like is nice, but I just uh, where where. Uh, oh, okay, just okay. Lil Yachty, okay, all right. Well, huh? they said the last little little Yachty album was good, right? So I yeah, guess that's yeah, why they yeah. putting it out there. I guess uh -uh. that's what they say. I still haven't listened to it. I know Mike said we should try it, but I just haven't. You want you want to put it on the list? I <laughs> You can't. Mike says yes. B James Blake is dope. Mm. So there's your there's your your cosign. We'll tentatively put it okay. on the list. Uh, one director got to go: Scorsese, Spielberg, or Nolan. Nolan. Oh really? That's one with the Dark Knights and shit. Yeah. Right? What else he made besides the Dark Knight? Well, that is that. I feel like it was something else he made besides Dark Knight that was popular. Scorsese ain't going nowhere for me, bro. And then Spielberg, like, come on. Yeah, he's he has too many. He yeah, too many. Too yeah, many so I, I guess I, I, guess yeah, I guess, what you. else Nolan made besides the Dark Knights, the Batman joints. Uh, I mean, I I know yeah, he Nolan's made something. Fine. I know the Dark Knights is not the only thing he made. Mm -hmm. I just, yeah, that's what he's known. Yeah, for. I'm gonna go Nolan. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Nolan too. Mm. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I hate to take, take Dark Knight and all that off there, but yeah, I guess so. Compared to those guys, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be tough. Oh, he did all. I didn't see that movie. Uh, yeah, no, let me go. Support, support. One got to go and all the songs they're on. Jid or Absol? Oh. Wait, what now? What's the question? One got to go. Jid or Absol got to go uh, and all the songs they own. Uh, it's going to be. I did say Jid. What? Yes. I did Over say Jid. Absol. I mean. Uh, because you got to do uh, all the black hippie shit that Ab was on. That got to go too. Okay. Yeah, and his features on everybody else's shit. I think I still got Jid. I think I still got Jid. I prefer so, so you're Jid. getting rid of Absol. Yeah, I, I got Jid. Mm. I'm picking Jid over, over Absol. Yeah, mm, yeah, this is tough. It ain't that tough. It ain't that tough for me. It, it's tough for me only because of Absol's features, not necessarily Absol's work. To me, I would rather get rid of Absol's work, but his features are crazy. But I'm gonna get rid of Absol too. <laughs> <laughs> Jid is amazing. No, bro. he is, bro. Jid yeah, is I, amazing, I probably had to bro. get rid of Ant Ant so yeah. too. Shit. Yeah, I'm not Damn. no sleeping on it's a good question, yeah. but like, nah, man. But man, but I mean, what album Jid got that's touch and control system though? <laughs> but it's the consistency. Uh, yeah, of the consi Jid. I know I get it. It's a consistency. It's the consistency yeah. went he ain't got it. that much consistency. He does. How much what, 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 what stuff what has, Jid got out? He has a slip. Man, you he got like four projects out. You trip, he has man. a slip. Each yeah. one is good. Man. Yeah, yeah. He, every one of Jid Project Absol is good. has a line. Yeah, and it's either above or below. I mean, Let's these see. days was like to me. I think the only questionable Absol album, and then after that, what's that? Uh, do without will. That, that was, was a dope album. Was, and then he just control went, and do without will. Are his two best. And then he went. No, but the Herbert was a good album though. It was, was it was it was it was it was just a big I forgot gap. about it. it yeah I think Rob yep. mentioned too it was he released it in a weird time he released yeah, it in December yeah. Yeah. and and it was like a six year gap yeah from yeah. that from yeah. uh, do what I will but so I mean and then forever story is good the uh mm -hmm. never uh what's the, the one Caprio the uh the Caprio, Caprio shit was good, good. Mm -hmm. yeah the, the, the his his debut joint was good yeah like 
the, 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 the Dreamville that, shit that you obviously he was all over. That's a good one though. That's a good. That's because yeah, I'm th- I'm thinking about this now. I might have to yeah. change my answer probably. Yeah. Yeah. Like if yeah. you would have said schoolboy, yeah. yeah. change, change it back, change the episode. So you yeah. Pick? Oh, I heard it. Said. So Jid, get up out of here. Give me half so, bro. Mm. Yeah, Herbert was dope, though. Give me yeah. So. But Jid, man, that, his his skill is like fucking crazy, bro. Absolute shit is too though. Not like Jid to me. Man, Jid's way, skill set is fucking. You remember crazy. when we was man, talking so about? Dude, like, Jid, we was bro. talking about you, how decoded nah. his shit was, bro. Like, no, nah, I give you the third like, out shit. He be on. He be on his third out shit. But I'm talking about just the control system. Yeah, I don't know. He is. Man, <laughs> can you wrong? <laughs> uh, what do people think about everybody can't go? <laughs> uh, look, I, I, I'm C I know you in the you in the you in the chat. Let me know if you want to be on DE three sixty five and me and you do everybody can't go since they didn't get us originally. But I fuck with it. Um, I'm not gonna say I love it. Um, I like burning the proof better. I thought that was better executed, but. You know, for the sake of potentially still doing a review, I ain't gonna give you too much, but I fuck with it. Green Beans, what R and B are y'all currently listening to? Old or new artists? Cleo Soul. Cleo Soul and yep. Sly Smith. Yep. yep. October London. Uh Alex Osley. Yep, Alex Osley is definitely one I play a lot. Oh, that was yep. somebody else I I just came across that was good. Uh y'all check out Annie Tracy. She she's dope too. Uh got a song out with Robin Thick. Um, Destin, somebody, Conrad, or something like that. I mm. uh, came across was really good. I, I tweeted about it, so you guys just follow me on. Yeah, that. I just came across somebody else too. Hold on, I'm looking for his name. He is his name is Isaiah Falls. Ain't mm. got no project out, just a whole bunch of singles, but very interesting voice. I fuck with him. Mike uh, said he's down. By the way, that's what's up. I mm-hmm. right, bet. Mm-hmm. So you'll you'll get my full thoughts on uh D three sixty five on my time. <clears throat> Uh, the Incot Negro. Uh, what hip hop group do you think if they got rid of their most popular member would be just as successful? You, uh, wow. Say that one more time. A mem- like a group that if they got rid of their most popular member, they'll still be successful, right? Oh, people, you gonna hate this one. I say Sheik loose Sheik from Lux. I feel like Lux. You think he's good. the most popular? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm 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 hearing a question in a different way. I got you. No, you would have to say Jada. Yeah, like, like Jada. Like, like you take no, Jada, no. would they still yeah, be? No, yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't. So the, be- they the would best it. member? Yeah. Man. I'm that's... trying to think of like groups that got like more than three people. You know, like, like more... Dreamville. If you take out J. Cole. But are they a group? That they no. more that's more they're not a group. They're not a group. Okay. Though. So yeah, like outcast. It's only two people. Yeah, like, it's only two people. Still, oh, I can't. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Three or more, at least three or more. But, but what? How many hip hop groups are there of three or more? It's not many. I mean, if you take, I guess, if you take Ghostface away, Wu Tang still be. It still be. Is Ghostface the most popular though? Or would it be? I mean, method? he has he has the best solo discography out oh, of them. But is he the most popular? The the question said well, most popular. I think Meth is the most popular. Yeah, there was still. But well, yeah, if you take Meth out, I think I think they were still. Yeah, he, still, he got Inspector Deck that was killing shit. You got yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, that's a two that's person a, thing. Yeah, no, that's the same. Because yeah, they had Malik B. They had. Oh. Yeah, they had Malik. Yeah, they had. Yep. Uh, uh, oh man. Nah, they not the same. No, Black Thought was too. He was, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, D twelve. You take out everything. <laughs> but you got the no, group that would still be successful, though. Yeah, they wouldn't. They mm-hmm. wouldn't. They were successful because of M. Um, shit. Who? Yeah, what? That's a good question. I, I guess yeah. that's, I can't. I can't. Yeah. That's um, who? The Hot Boys. If you take out Little Wayne. At that time, they would have been all right. Yeah, they would have been all right. During, yeah, during the, the late movement 90s, was too much. Juve, Juve yeah. and BG was running yeah. that shit. shit and Turk. Work. Turk was doing mm-hmm. shit too. Yeah. They all uh, like, yeah. Wayne, yeah. Wayne was last in that group. Yeah. For very yeah. yeah. Doing yep. the early cash money? Oh, yep. heck yeah. He, he was younger. He wasn't as polished. Yep. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oblivion, uh, do you think Mike agrees with Fantano? Mike's way more critical with Kanye than Fantano. Of course, we wouldn't know if Mike agrees with Fantano, but Mike has been in the chat. Saying how he feels yeah. about it, so you may have mm-hmm. gotten an answer to your question by now. Uh, but yeah, we wouldn't we wouldn't have been able to answer this question. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, Who's the most oh. popular in Slaughterhouse? Joe Budden at the time. 
Probably. Yeah, it's either Joe or Royce. Popular? Joe Probably. Budden. Joe Budden was on TV. He was like one of the first people on reality TV and shit like that. He probably was with him, though. Yeah. One of the most popular rappers, bro. So let's just think yeah. about it. If you take Joe out, it still survives, right? Yeah. It take Cro- Royce Crooked out, Eye and Royce alive? alone will still I, keep that shit alive. I, I, I think if you take out either one of them, the other three will still be fine. So you think Slaughterhouse is an example that it will yeah. still be successful? Yeah, they'll still be successful. Mm-hmm. Where y'all Elza joining here? I'm looking for it. I can't find it. Elza what? Oh, we yeah. may not have put it out yet. Oh, we okay. reviewed it. Okay, I was yeah, looking for it. It might not be. Uh, one got to go. Uh, this is from Giordi. Uh Mike Dean and Scarface, or Mike Dean and Kanye. Also, with more bad Yay releases, how was Ken's uh, 2012 take on Scarface? This guy versus Yay's aged. Mmm. And they were oh, laughing at you too, Ken. They, when you said they that. always remember, laugh at me. Remember, B. they was I'm laughing at you, bro. Now, bro. But yeah, yeah Mike, Mike Dean and Scarface. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they were laughing at you, mm-hmm. Ken. Yeah, and, and look, I started off the review with a very poignant question that kind of answers or dives into that a little bit. So watch the review when it comes out. It's literally how I, we started the review. Okay. Uh, one got to go. Just Blaze, Kanye, Timbaland, and for, or Pharrell. Just Ooh. overall? The, I, the production. These are all... You know what I'm saying? Over, like, yeah. the, the whole thing. I might, I might have to get Timbaland out of there, bro. He's... <laughs> He's been, aging, he's, been, he's been aging horribly on a production tip, bro. Aging. Like, you remember when Timlin first came out? He kind of like, he 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 was like his own blueprint sound. Yeah. Like, some of his shit he's been releasing, this shit sounds just like everything else. It's I like agree. he's following the damn yeah, shit. Yeah, I agree. And he I used agree. to be the blueprint, and he's following the blueprint. I agree. So do you So you just erase all the Timlin history? Yeah, but though? I can't I mean, take it. I can't take it. Yeah, he got Pharrell a strong... got some shit, too? Well, I like Timlin, though. Just Blaze. Not like Timbaland. And Pharrell they, they had, they had a, and Pharrell said it. Pharrell like, man, look, mm-hmm. I can't touch you, man. Like, like, yeah, like, I don't know if I can erase. See, Timbaland. I don't think Pharrell is age horrible, like as far as he his has production. It. He has. That's it. what I'm saying. But 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 that's what I'm saying. That that's why I threw in the threw in the uh, the, the like little fact, the factor of Timbaland's I, history. I feel like though. the other ones can still, if they produce an the album, I would be like, yes, I would still enjoy the production. You know what, Timbaland, no, get rid of Kanye for me. Mm. Oh, see, I, well, I could have said Kanye mm. too because I haven't listened get, to Kanye get, get, like that. Yeah, get rid of Kanye because so as a producer, he's as a producer, off. just yeah, as a producer, he's, he's falling off. He's he definitely is falling off. Really, if you go with his lo- his theory, his logic. Well, again, like I'm looking at the totality of it. Yeah. The totality is there though. Like, I mean, well, not the totality is there, but you that first you know the the first third bro, of it, com- amazing. Common his album, amazing. Jay. Twister, like I know, I, I got you, I got you. The first third is amazing. The second third is really good. And it's like, what the fuck happened? Where I would say two thirds of Timbaland shit is is better. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just stronger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just, the only thing I, I'm just basing it off, like if if, mm-hmm. if it was an album produced by them, you know, Timbaland, I, I, I got to throw Timbaland out. Because if he produced the album, I'm not going to mm-hmm. be excited. At least Kanye gave us um, Daytona. No, you know I give you that. Like, I give you that. But so. But but does Just Blaze have the resume? That's that the what I other was three gonna niggas say. Got? Does Just can Does Just but Blaze if, have the resume? But if of these Just other Blaze three produce some shit right now, gonna we good. go we gonna listen. And yeah, Timbaland yeah. shit is not gonna be. But does okay. he have the resume? But he don't have the resume, dog. Oh, like no. the three niggas, the other no, three man. niggas, it's, it's a big Just ass Blaze resume. Assistant. Timbaland shit just been like he was like this, and Timbaland just fucking we spiraled down, bro. Everybody else is kind of still like, okay, you know. Yeah, because well, Kanye with, still with, got with, moments. With the exception of Kanye, but. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and Pharrell has slowed up. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't. He ain't yeah, nose he ain't dive, bro. I feel like Timberland has nose dive. Damn. He produced T Grizzly, bro. He did an album produced by. He, he produced a whole album by T Grizzly. That shit was sounding so bad. It was like, wait a minute, Timberland. <laughs> Why does it sound, sound like everything else? But it don't even sound like a good matchup, though. It doesn't. It don't. That's why Tim So is it Timlin's fault? I don't know what that is. But I, 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 right, exactly. That don't sound like a good match, though. That's not fair. It was still horrible. It's a tough ass <laughs> question, though. Still horrible. As good as oh, um, okay, okay. yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, no, it's all good. I, I don't know. I, uh, I, I don't want to pick. <laughs> better Juju be one or beware. Oh, um, beware. Mm. I'm going beware. That's a great question. You know, you're a hip hop young man. That that's <laughs> that is a great question. That's what I'm talking about. That's 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 them are important questions that need to be asked. <laughs> what is that? Be, he's a producer from Beat Nuts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, I know Beat Nuts. Yeah, he's a producer from yeah. Beat Nuts. Yeah. Okay. 
Yep, yeah, the one he produced um, on Ghostface Supreme Clientele. Mm. Ha ha ha. And yeah. Beware is off of Big Puns. Big Puns. Mm. I gave yeah. you a fair warning. Come on now. Beware. Gotcha. You yeah, got Beware it. Is hey, that's why you're on the show, bro. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know, <laughs> those are good questions right there. I like that. Yeah. Uh, what is the best Arm & Hammer album and which guest first from Curly Castro? Best one. Mm. I like. Mm. Ooh, man. I like Furtive, Furtive Movements. I like Race Yeah, music. that one is good. Like, I went back uh, and listened to that one. Like, yeah. Hold on. Let me pull up. Those man. are two of my favorite, favorite uh, Look, Arm & Hammer albums. I still, but, but. I don't know, man. I still like Haram, man. Haram is still up there for me. I know, I know, it's like one of their new ones, but I still really like them. I still go to shrines too. Mm-hmm. I still go to shrines, but I might have to go with shrines, bro. Shrines is really I good, have, bro. I, might, I think shrines is slightly get Haram yeah. for me. Yeah, I think I'm still gonna go Haram. I still go that one, go to that one the most. But but shrines man, is right that there. Is so fucking good. Shrines bro. is right there for me. Yeah, that's fan. that's where I got that's where I got introduced to uh to um oh shit why am I drawing a fucking blank uh right now fuck what's my guy what's my guy y'all help me why the fuck I can't think right yeah, now yeah you know me good with names you pull on the people oh no um yeah I believe keep, keep going keep going keep going I it, it fuck I just drew a fucking blank right now. God damn. But yeah, Shrines is where I introduce. Because you said you fuck with him now. Oh, a, a Kai Solo. A Kai Solo. <laughs> fuck. I don't know why I could, that shit was leaving me. I will yeah, honestly bro. have to go back and listen to the Curly Castro verses. Mm-hmm. I can't answer that off the top of my head. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, Mike's in the chat. He could probably give you one. Uh, it, it turns into Curly Castro verse. Um, but uh, okay. And I think Mike said paraffin in the chat. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's uh, so that's his. Yeah, paraffin's good. Um, BZ, grow that beard back, fam. It's growing back. It's growing back. It's growing back. You got the goatee coming in. <laughs> yeah, man, I want to have it fresh for the wedding. Uh, <laughs> support, support for DEHH next song. If y'all had to have someone sing the hook, who would it be? Majority vote. Fucking Somebody sing the hook. Who would it be? Like I'm, from up? like like I'm internal? No, or I like think, a feature. Yeah, I think it's just a feature. Like anybody we could get to sing it. Yeah. Cleo Soul, maybe somebody like that. Hell yeah, Cleo Soul. Cleo Soul is dope, but I want to jump on that bitch real quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that real quick. Soul on that real quick. Too smooth for the shit that we would create, though. Man, you think so? Smooth shit? Yeah, at least we created some smooth shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pops used to move them keys. Pops used to move them keys. It was never out of reach. That <laughs> <laughs> really got so last year. That's crazy, bro. Jill. He Jill actually me, made bro. a song. Jill. I, think Jill. Jill I, would, I would throw mm. Jill in the pot. You Layla know, Hathaway? Oh, I like Scissor too. Mm, she nice. Like, Scissor makes sense. I was, I was As I was. Scissor makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Scissor makes sense though. Marsha yeah. Ambrose. Well, no, I haven't liked most of her features that she's been seeing on lately. They've been having to do weird stuff. Should I think Brent Fires makes sense for us too? All right, man. No, what you mean? All right, man. man. What you mean? All right, man. Let's try to get us canceled this shit. Right. What you mean? I thought he had some shit going he ain't on. Got no shit Brent, going on. Brent's nice, but I, I thought. Oh, they're saying that he's toxic or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they say he's toxic. Get, shit, nigga, a weekend toxic. Uh, I like uh, toxic. Fantano. This review is unreviewable. <laughs> Shout out to Fantano. Shout appreciate out to you, man. Fantano. Yeah, that was really dope. Yes. Uh, that yeah, in. appreciate you. Uh, <laughs> this album is a mixed bag, but by no means is worst. And that is from Trainer Red. Mm. And last one. Oh shit. Vulture, this is from Alex Kennis. Vulture is Yay's second worst after Jesus and King. In my opinion, those are bad while the rest of his projects are great, including Jesus and 808. Sorry, Ken. So did y'all like she Jesus was... and King? Did y'all hate nah, that? No, nigga, we y'all ain't like that shit. Y'all ain't like that shit? Nah. Mm-hmm. Nah, nobody. Would nobody you agree did. with that though? Would you say that would you say that this is not his worst? Like this is Jesus the King is his worst and this is new one is his second worst? Yeah. I, I, I I wouldn't say that this is his second worst. It's at the bottom, you know, of the list 100 mm-hmm. percent Um, but there's other worst albums, like he said, you know, Jesus is not, but for me it is. Jesus is at the bottom. 
Um, to me, you could put Donda down there too. Um, Donda is not bad. Yeah, I, I, hey, it's not bad. You could put this down there with it too. So, Donda ain't bad, man. It's one of his worst projects, but yeah. I want to say the worst. I mean, that's project. you know. Yeah, he has a lot I mean, of projects yeah. out. I feel like the life of Pablo is 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 the lie, like, like that's that's good, and then everything underneath it is bad, and everything above it is good mm. or amazing. But uh, but yeah, that's it. We're done. That's it. Yeah. All right, cool, Appreciate man. Everybody. Look, man, y'all showed up. Show out. Still like a thousand people in here right now, man. You know, hey, we got a thousand. Man, Fantano pulls the numbers, man. You know, you know, appreciate you. You know, you know. But nah, man, yeah, I appreciate y'all coming through, man. Appreciate you, Fantano, for sending. If you're still in here, uh, for sending in the uh, super chat, bro. That was, that was, uh, that was dope. Um, but yeah, man. Um, I don't have to tell y'all to check out Fantano's channel because you probably already are checking out Fantano's channel. But uh, thank y'all for coming through to another Dead and Hip Hop Live. Like I said, at the top of the show, we do these every Wednesday, Eastern Standard Time. And shout out to Mike C-Town, man. He was super active in this chat, man. So yeah, man, y'all y'all thank him for still being active, even in the absence here or whatnot. But um, but nah, man, I, um, we enjoy you guys and you know, we hope you come back. We hope you tune in more. We have our review coming. The, uh, the Vultures 1 review is this Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you come back to check that out. Anybody, you had something, Ken? Mm -mm. Look like you was thinking about something. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, man, nonetheless, man, thank you for the super chats. Like I said, man, they helped the show. So yeah, keep that coming. Become a patron today. That is uh, patreon.com forward slash dead in hip hop. That's another way you can support what we do. Um, anything else I'm missing? That's it. That's all it. right, man. Look, all hearts and minds are clear. You know what I'm saying? We out. Peace.